Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Everhood. I hope you all had a lovely uh, Thanksgiving. I'm actually recording this after my Thanksgiving dinner. So I hope you all had a very lovely Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I just hope you have a lovely day. So let's get straight into it. Uh, let's see, which one was it? I think it's this one. Right? Yes, I think. Uh, where do I go? Oh. Oh, it's Pigman. Do this. Let's move my cursor out of the way. Who let you in here? It's the doll I stole the arm from. Well, well, well. Did you come here to get your arm back? <laughs> You won't. You should have caught your thief when you had the chance. You will only be an annoyance if I keep you around. It's better to get rid of you. Bring it on, let's do it. <coughs> if I remember correctly, you can't actually win this level, so... I guess we'll see. Ouch. Ouch. This is not easy. Ouch. No. Oh, can I win? No! Ah, ah. Well, dang. Unfortunately, there is no way to win that. I think. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold a sec. Hold a sec. Hold M1. Oh! Yeah, I kind of figured that was gonna happen. So let's try again. See, because if you could survive that little flamethrower room, I think it would do what I just did right there. It would say restart from checkpoint or something similar. I forgot the controls for a second. Ah. Oh. I feel like this is gonna be one of those. Episode, you have to do a lot of editing in. Hopefully not. I prefer to not have to put in a, a whole bunch of time into editing this. Ouch. Just keep myself alive. That is a weird creature. Don't pay attention to the pictures, just pay attention to the beats. Ow! God! This is gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, so remember the controls. I can dash, I can jump. Ooh, I almost jumped into that one. Okay. 
Was so close. Oh, dang. <sighs> That's fine. I wanted something difficult anyway. Bring it on, man. Let's see what you got. Any health here? Push the button one, two times. Okay, just dodge, just dodge. Don't do nothing else. And definitely don't push the button too many times. These lights are really hurting my eyes right now, I'm not gonna lie. Jesus Christ. Okay, I got all my health back. Yes, I did. And back to life we go. On we go to the weird... Uh, uh, I don't know, actually. I guess afterlife, maybe? I mean, we did die. Well, obviously not really dead. His eyes are closed. Or they're non-existent. It's one of the two. Hello there, gnome dude. Oh no. I remember this being difficult. In case I need to say this one last time, just for anyone who hasn't seen the first episode, there are a lot of flashing lights, and it's only going to get worse the more I continue. So if you can't handle flashing lights and very loud music, I do not recommend this video for you. You can check out any other video, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Because nothing I've played is quite like this. It's not that I remember. I've played a lot of games. Although I don't record everything I play, obviously. I do play games for fun every now and again. <coughs> oh god. Quite literally. This is starting to seriously hurt my eyes. But I do like it though. It's really cool. You must stay quiet so you can hear the beat. I 
I'm pretty sure these are the developers, if I remember correctly. It's gonna be like this, is it? Holy Jesus! Oh, now I'm fighting God. Ow! No, I can't do upside down, please! Oh, thank God, it's back right side up! No, please. I need to be able to see. No. Oh, God, no. Well, this is an idea. One. It's just one. There's not a lot. It just looks like there's a lot. Just gotta keep that in mind. Ouch. I, I'm losing track of my character. This is really difficult for me. Come on. Can you just give up already? Let me come back. Oh god. Oh, oh Jesus. You son of a- you inverted my controls. Are, are we done? Did I win? Jesus. Okay. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. It seems you've returned early. This shouldn't be possible. Something is amiss. I cannot allow you to learn too much. It would interfere with your purpose. Give me one second. Okay, I will restore your body to before you started to, um, drift away. I suggest you continue with what you were doing, but be careful. I could give you some advice that would help you, but it's a secret that must stay between us. If you want, I can give you an absolute truth. This is certainly not the right way to do it, but it might help you, or it might horribly twist you. Do you wish to hear the absolute truth? Sure. There are many absolute truths, but one of them is... Nothing is lost. Once life 
Once life is death, there will be a transfer you cannot be part of. The departed will wait for you in a place with no time. Hard choices will be justified in the end. There will be reconciliation, no matter how ugly. Take this truth. It is now in your hands to interpret its meaning. Now you must continue. I will restore your body to right before you died. I hope you will find what you are looking for. Well, I know a good bit about this game, so I know what all that meant. But I will not spoil anything for anybody. So on we go. This is an adventure we all gotta go through together. And even though I may know a little bit ahead, you guys will stay in the dark, hopefully. Unless some of you have already played this or seen other people play it. Wow. Hey. So, gold picks stole my legs. Yeah, they're detachable, just like your limbs. I can't believe you survived the incinerator. <coughs> no one has survived it. Please take me with you. I'll help you get your arm back from gold pig. Just don't leave me. You want me to take you with me? You want to help me get back your arm and, and my legs? Yes. Thank you. I weigh almost nothing. You won't even notice. Gold pig escaped, escaped through the magical door. You mean this one? But what's down here? The safe point. Or is that the magical door? It's dark. It's cold. But I'm always here to light up the path. Do you want to save? I would love to save. Game save. Okay, so let's try going up this way. Hey, I'm just a door. I don't have a lot of responsibilities besides standing here. Do you really want to go after a big guy like that? I was impressed that they even got through me. Of course, Gold Pig has magic to make it easier, but I imagine them having to fit through all the doors in the world. Maybe you should reconsider. After all, you are only searching for your arm. You seemed helpless to do anything about it last time anyway. Although, you did survive the incinerator somehow. No one else has done that. The corpses around you are proof of that. Stop stalling this pass. Jeez. <laughs> okay. <coughs> you cranky gnome. But what's down there? Oh, it's just a VIP thing. That's a weird looking door over there. Hi, fancy seeing you here. You can save your progress here. Do you want to save? Yes, please. <coughs> Good luck with whatever you're doing. I believe this is the first one we go into. Never mind, it's broken. I am incorrect. Is this the first one we go into? Well, I guess. We can try it. Um. Well. To be honest, this is a pretty uneventful room. I don't particularly remember where I'm supposed to go. Let's try this one. Green. <laughs> um. Am I going the wrong way? Uh. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Maybe I go down? Do I go up? What? What am I supposed to do here? Uh. Well, I'm very lost. Wait, is this different? This is different. Interesting. There's nothing up here. There very well might be something down this way, though. There it is. Now we are in a place. 
Stop right there, Red Hood. I have been sent by Gold Pig to stop you from reaching the Cursed Castle. I order you to stop your quest at once. Go back to where you came from, and I won't hurt you. Uh, afraid not. Called my bluff, huh? I won't bother you. There's no point in it. I know I won't beat you anyways. Well, thank you. Oh boy. Uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Everything. That was not it. That wasn't it either. Or that. Ow. I can't let it slow down. That's the problem. Okay, so we have a mailbox. Address, secret entrance to the Cursed Castle. Mailbox property of Irvin. Irvin? There is no Irvin, from what I can tell, that I can go to. Okay. Let's go to the Cursed Castle. Um. All right, I wasn't even touching my keyboard there for a minute. I can feel you running through my veins. What? Oh, it's you again. What the hell do you want? <laughs> Go be annoying somewhere else. I'm busy, can't you tell? My voice acting is impeccable. Not really. <laughs> uh, save, please. A painting of a gnome silhouette with rainbow outlines. A painting of a lightning storm with a human-shaped creature in the middle. A painting of a city in the night. A broken painting ripped in half. It seems to be a painting of a firestorm and lots of suffering. A painting of a gray wizard hat. The door is locked. Dispel the obvious. I am not doing anything right now. What the heck? Please, take this. You received a magic eight ball. Oh boy, I wonder what it could be. You shake the magic eight ball. It says, You have abandoned humanity and accepted immortality. Never forget. 28 souls are left. You guys will understand what that means. The key to the locked door is somewhere in the maze, but I, I put that. <laughs> Maybe it was for the best. Sure. Hi. Fancy seeing you here in such a spooky place. I am known as Freddy here. I've heard that this castle has a heart and a soul. I wonder what that really means. Maybe it has secret rooms. Maybe. Very well could be the case. Alright, let's get this over with. Welcome to Slime Brothers Plank Circus. My name is Flan, and my brother's name is Mock. That's me. 
We provide a plank printing service. What kind of plank are you looking for? A very long one, please. Whoa! You know, very long planks are hard to handle, and they come with a price. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, alright, maybe. Actually, for you to rent a very long plank, you also need... Shoot, I forgot. Hey, my... Yeah? What do you need to rent a very long plank? You mean the diploma of certification for handling very long planks? Right. Do you have a certi certificate for handling very long planks? No. Shoot. Well, the good news is that we can offer the diploma of certification for handling very large planks. Long planks. Whatever, same difference. We sure do. Do you want the diploma? Yes, please. Hey, Ma, what is the plan? This wood face wants the diploma of certification for handling very long planks. Oh, really? Get ready, matey. Oh boy, I gotta get to a fight. It's what it always boils down to in the end. Ooh. Back in. Ha! Ooh. Why did I jump in front of. Colors just tend to confuse my brain. Like, really bright ones, anyway. So. Like, if I make a really, really dumb decision, I'm just gonna blame it on me being tired. Even though I have coffee right next to me. Like that. That was a dumb decision. I could have stayed where I was and been fine. No, this is not the time to be glitching. Alright, that's fantastic. This cost me almost all my life. I need to master this jump roll. Ha, I win! There, now it's up on the wall. And of course, here's your very long plank. Thank you. I think I very much earned that. <laughs> you picked up the very long plank. Do you guys think you're funny? Just, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But I digress. On we go. Is there sa the save point's down here, right? No, it's not. Now, where is the save point? If you could not freeze and lock my location, that would be fantastic. Hi there. I'm guarding this maze here, but I, all I already read this. The maze. <laughs> Actually, please let me save before I do this. Because I do know there is a dude that you fight here, and it's not fun. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for my coughing. I'm still getting over being sick. <coughs> Ugh. Okay. I warn you, Red. The maze monster lurks here. If it finds you, try to escape. If it, it's relentless, that monster guards something. <coughs> Thanks for sneezing on me. Sorry, I forgot what it was. I'm not gonna bother with that. We need to get on with the story. This game is very much like Undertale in a lot of- Oh wait, I just remembered. He's in this- He's in here. I gotta be careful. Don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught. I hear him. Come on, go! Creepy son of a bitch. I'll fight you. I 
also happen to know you can't win this fight. Even if you try to outlast him, it doesn't work. That's how you get out. Jesus. Okay. <coughs> I don't know where the exit is. I should have memorized this when I was memorizing everything else from this game. Maybe it's the left? Nope. Nope, it is not. Oh! You found a crystal key. Is this the key to that door, though? Because that was rather close to the entrance. Oh, wait, that wasn't the entrance. What am I talking about? Is there a secret door here? Is this the secret? No, it's not. It's just a really freaking long. I'm not gonna lie, that sound kind of creeped me out a bit. The spider will be in my nightmares. Hi, I made it back. Okay, I think I have the key. I think I'm I'm good. I realize now that I probably just skipped a lot of storyline. Because this is technically not necessarily the end of the game, but this is one of the last levels you should probably do. But I guess... If... I mean, it is what it is. That's what I started with. It is what it is. Alright, let's save, save, and this one, okay, to the door, because I think this is the key, ah, hey, be careful with that stuff, wait, um, oh, okay, we're good. I feel like I shouldn't be here. I do remember how this works. Ah, I say that and then I make the biggest mistake ever. All you gotta do is pay attention to the ground. When you go here. Oh yeah, they tricked you to switch it up. Then you go here. Then... Where was it? Here? Yeah. Okay, first, let's get the door piece. Because <laughs> we need that. You still have the biggest challenge ahead of you. Visit the Mirror of Truth, and I will allow you to leave my castle. Alright. <laughs> I am Royal God of Castle. I guard important. Very important. Enter alone only. What? Why? Rules are rules. Ah. I don't have any legs. <laughs> <coughs> and this guy is mute. Ah. Would you really deny us entrance? Uh, okay, for you two only. Ah. We got lucky. To the mirror of truth. There we go. You gotta look at it from all angles. Look at- <coughs> <coughs> Look at you. What gives you the right to come here and control me? I wish you would just leave. <coughs> 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 
You disgust me. Woo, <coughs> alright. This wooden cage. I have not always been like this. I divided myself into pieces to protect everyone. Once you leave, I have to deal with everything. I hate you for it. I wish you would just stop. I want you to leave. I don't want to talk to you again. If that is what you desire, me. Alright, well, now we can enter this way. Well done, little puppet. You are one step closer to helping us all. In another time, you will come back. Then you will slay the beast within and a passage will open. The end is nearing us. You are now free to leave. So, once again, I'm not going to spoil anything. But as you can see, there's a little bit more going on than what meets the eye right now. It seems that the puppet is more than meets the eye. So to speak, it looks like there might be a soul inside the puppet. Or something something's going on with him. And as you saw, the door was talking about how we're going to do some serious stuff to the world. But, just because it's been going on a little while longer than I wanted to, because of all the mess-ups I had, we're going to call it here and leave it off on a little cliffhanger so you guys can try and interpret the meaning of everything that was just said a minute ago. So let's save. Yes, please. <clears throat> so, with that, I shall end the episode. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.